at how I solve the edges for the 5x5. Five five. This is obviously just after matching up the centers um, and I look down and the first thing I see is the red and greens right here. So I scan as quickly as I can around the cube for that piece and it's actually right there. So I'll go ahead and do this R2, placing the piece here and here, easy replace and match up. And then I look here and notice that there's the two orange and yellows. Find the other piece which is here. Now replace this edge group here with that piece. Okay. Now I slice. And whites always seem to stand out really well for me. So with this pe with this group solved, I see this orange and white and look for the other other pieces. And I find that it's actually right here. So I replace this edge group. Being sure to make really sure that I don't uh, mess up the centers and keep them all horizontal the same way. So I slice, flip, and replace. Okay, right as I was finishing that I noticed that the blue and white is over here. So I scan as quickly as I can and find the blue and white center, which is here, and replace. Okay. Now I also notice that there's green and yellow right here already ready to go. So I slice, fix the blue, and then scan and find the green and yellow to fix the centers which I notice is there but it's flipped so I just go ahead replace this with any the first edge group I see on top. Now I go back here flip this piece over. Okay now go ahead and fix that group and what I was looking at was this uh, red and yellow piece here so I notice down here red and yellow groups they're all ready to go, just flipped, so I replace again. Okay, then I replace, flip, and replace. Now on the back side here, I notice that there's green and white, so I scan, find green and white here, replace that group, match that up for the green and white center, which is here. Replace, okay. Now I notice that when I'm going to replace this green and white center, I'm going to solve the red and white group at the same time. Okay, there. So I go ahead and just replace, and these are my last two before the middle layer edges. Um, flip it over and replace with this group. And then I just have to replace all my centers. So now I have eight edge groups solved in just the middles. So I go ahead and scan the cube really quickly and I look for anything that might stand out as being easy which in this case there's already uh, blue and orange I just need to find the edge which is right here so I flip to get it so that when I slice it will go here but I also want to be sure and put a broken edge group up in the top layer okay so there's my working edge or working group I guess you'd say so I slice now you can pay attention to how this is what's going to affect this edge group when I slice back and in this case the center is blue and yellow so I replace so that when I bring it down and slice my centers back it already fixes that blue and yellow okay so at this point this group is uh, this blue and yellow piece is all ready to go so I replace with the other center okay slice and then put this edge group into place just just to switch it out and slice back again. Okay, now at this point, I do have a parity. So, um, I will <laughs> get lost for a second and then, um, let me see, um, find that I will do the algorithm that I've already sent you, which is this. Okay, oops, one. Okay, so now this is already, all the edges are finished, and I'll just go ahead and solve the 3x3 three three regularly.
finished. Hope that helps out.